This is another great video topic, in my opinion. <laughs> have you ever experienced that situation? You're at the table, you're having a straight in shot, you feel good, it's a standard shot, all you have to do is hit the cue ball center. So you go down, you play the shot, and all of a sudden you apply side spin. For whatever reason, nobody knows, even you have no clue why you did it. And because you applied the side spin, it made you miss the shot. Great moment, I've experienced that, feels awful, and you're at the table just thinking, what the right? If this happens to you on a regular basis, I have two solutions for you. Solution number one, buy a low deflection shaft. <laughs> you will find the links to the low deflection shaft in my uh, video description, and also the link to the shaft that I'm playing with, just that you know. Or solution number two, work on a better, straighter cue action and stroke. If you're really smart, you do both. So this is the topic of this video. We're gonna work on a better, straighter stroke. And I'm gonna give you some exercises and some tips on how to do that. A good and solid cue action or stroke is part of every shot. So you would think when you play, you automatically work on it anyway. But I don't think it's that easy. I think you need specific drills where you can specific, spe specifically <laughs> focus on that topic. So I think it's important to separate uh, these drills from your normal training routine, from playing matches and stuff. And here are four of my favorite drills for cue action and stroke. <laughs> I had to change my shirt because I uh, spilled water over it. That's me sometimes. <laughs> First, let me explain what is a good stroke or cueing action. When you look at pro players, no, ma no matter if it's Taiwanese, Chinese, Filipino, European style, American style, you will see so many different styles out there. And there are great players from every nation. And I also feel like every nation has their own concepts or ideas. But to me, um, a good stroke or cue action means that you have a smooth follow through, that you can get all the action and quality into the cue ball with less power um, and your stroke is solid and consistent. So you can recreate that stroke over and over and over again. So that's good to me. I believe no player is completely straight at all times. Maybe I'm wrong, but I also believe it's not necessary to be completely straight in order to be successful. When it comes to your cue action, a little bit of jerking and steering here and there I think is quite normal, but you need to keep it to a minimum. So the most common mistakes are that you actually move to the side so your cue goes to the side, left or right after the contact, or that you go out and back in. And the most critical one is actually moving a cue to the side before you hit the cue ball. So keep it straight, people. So all of that means that your cue action is not completely straight. Again, a little bit of moving I think is normal, but if you're hitting the cue ball consistently wrong, when you're applying spin that you don't want, or instead of drawing the ball, you are playing a stop shot, <laughs> then, then you have a problem. Then you should definitely work on it. So the first exercise is called Mighty X. Uh, a lot of pro players are playing it these days, and uh, I got this drill from Johan Rusink. Uh, he was here at the academy for training sessions, and it's actually quite simple. We have a straight ball set up. The setup is also really simple. The object ball is here, second diamond and first diamond short rail, and the cue ball is on the same spot on the other side of the table. When you set it up right, you have a completely straight shot. And the rules um, are important for this drill because it's a straight shot, so it's nothing fancy. But in this case, you have to try to, to play perfect stop shots, perfect follow shots, and perfect draw shots. What means perfect? When you play a stop shot, the cue ball is not allowed to move to any side or even um, move on the spot because that would mean you played side spin and you don't want that, it doesn't count. So you have to play a perfect stop shot. Perfect follow shot would be to 
pot the ball in the corner pocket and the cue ball follows. And the perfect draw shot is the opposite. So guess what? You pocket the ball here and you draw the cue ball back into the corner pocket. When you are an amateur or a beginner, you can of course change the distance of the shot. So please adapt this drill to whatever level um, you have. So you can also start with shots like this. Another drill that I really like are straight shots down the rail. Why? Because the rail gives you an immediate feedback on how you played the shot. Did you hit the cue ball in the center? Did you hit the object ball right? Because what you don't want with, this, with these shots is to hit the rail. So when you set up the ball, it doesn't matter which distance again, the distance is something that you choose. So you set it up, same distance from the rail. And now what you do is you play a stop shot and you're not allowed to hit the rail with the object ball or of course not the cue ball either. So you really want a straight and good shot. Drill number three um, is something that I came up with um, and maybe it doesn't help you but it helped me is playing shots without stroking before. So because you're not stroking before you have to pay more attention on how to get down in line for the shot and you're really focusing just on that one movement forward through the cue ball. So you can set up any straight ball. You can even set up angle balls, of course. But in the beginning, I would suggest just setting up straight balls so you can also see how um, you hit the cue ball and how well you hit the object ball. Because again, with this exercise, you want to hit it as solid and perfect as possible. So perfect stop shot, perfect follow shot, or even draw shot, but no stroking allowed. And exercise number four, and there are two versions to this exercise, because the, the version that I always played was playing without chalk. So I'm really taking off all the chalk of my tip and now I'm playing these shots, the straight shots, follow, um, stop and follow, because now without chalk, of course, you have to hit it really nicely in the center. Otherwise, the chances are pretty high that you miss cue, right? I saw a different ver version by Niels Feyen, and he actually put a tape over his tip. I thought that's a brilliant idea. So I think that makes it even more difficult because even though you don't have chalk on it, the letter is still accepting a little bit, <laughs> but by putting a tape over it, you really have to hit it perfectly in the center in order to play a good shot. So two versions, no chalk, or you put a tape over it. You choose. I would play both. Start with no chalk, then you put the tape on <laughs> and challenge yourself. I play these exercises really a lot because I believe a solid and confident stroke is so important for your game. Uh, but let's face it, it's not fun. That type of training is not fun. It's hard work. It's frustrating at times. It's like if you could see my training sessions then, I really have to calm myself down so many times because it's tough. But trust me, they work. So you have to really put in the time and the work because it will be worth it. So whenever you play these exercises, Drill it, like really play it for an hour or two. I know it's tough, but just drill it. You will feel a difference afterwards. So trust me. All right, that's it with this video and with four exercises for a better and straighter and more solid cue action. I hope you liked it and I'm gonna keep practicing my own exercises and I'll talk to you soon.